Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla and it's time to crack into a good book. So this week we're having a bonus video to show you my TBR for Evil-a-thon. So this is a horror themed readathon um, created by Kasha from Kasha and Bookland. And all of these prompts are based on Stephen King and I wanted to support her readathon. So since I'm participating in the Lord of the Readathons that, you know, like I'm co-hosting that, and um, trying to do this as well, and possibly another readathon. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna definitely double slash triple up on some of these prompts because I need to. Like, I'm not sure I necessarily want to be reading books just for readathons throughout the month of November. I think I've got a good selection of, of book options here, so let's just get started. So the first prompt is Carrie. So read a horror book with red on the cover. So for this, I'm going to choose Violet by Scott Thomas. Now I think several of these could actually count because a lot of them do have red on the cover. Uh, so I read Kill Creek by him in October, and you'll hear my thoughts about that uh, once I post my October wrap-up, or end of the month wrap-up. Um, so this one is about a uh, woman returning to like where she used to live. She goes there with her eight-year-old daughter after her husband dies in a car accident. It says something about like, um, a shadow has fallen over this quiet lake town and beneath its surface an evil has grown and inside the home where she last saw her mother an old friend awaits her return. So that sounds spooky. Um, I think this is more of like a slow burn psychological horror book, um, but it sounds awesome. I really liked Kill Creek and I wanted to pick this up anyway, so I was like, yeah, this, this will work. So the second prompt is Needful Things. Read a book from your favorite horror genre. Uh, so for this, I'm going to choose The Night Parade by Ronald Malfi. Uh, so I guess my favorite horror genre is like sci-fi horror or where there's like, you know, some sort of infectious disease element. I love that. Um, so this one, there's some sort of like a disease of delusions, daydreams, and nightmares, and a plague threatening to wipe out all of humanity. Um, so there's like two years of, of decay, and then our, our main character wakes up thinking that the worst is over, but the same day, later that same day, he's like, his wife is dead, he's on the run with his eight-year-old daughter, who may or may not be the, the cure to this disease, um, and so she has some sort of, this daughter has some sort of gift. I heard about this from Samantha at Missy May's Reading Nook, and it sounded awesome. I had never heard of it before um, her Vlogtober series of, of videos, um, so I'm really excited about this. So prompt three is The Dead Zone. Read a book about an undead creature or person. So for this, I'm going to choose The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd-Jones. Um, so this is, I think, more of like fantasy horror, but so basically like if any of these books had horror it was like shelved as horror on Goodreads by anybody else. Like, okay, I'm gonna count that. Um, so this one is a fantasy horror where um, our main character, I think, is a grave digger, um, and like basically the dead don't always stay dead. So we have these like rising corpses, which are the bone houses, and there's some sort of like curse. Um, uh, we meet a map maker, and like these undead creatures are attacking with a new ferocity. Um, so I think we're just like. There's some sort of travel, and it's like equal parts classic horror novel and an original fairy tale. Um, it sounded awesome. I've been wanting to read it, and it seems like a good time to do that. Prompt four is Bag of Bones. Read a horror or thriller about like a murder or serial killer. Um, so for this, I'm going to choose a thriller, and this is An Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lapena. I, I, I tried to look up how to pronounce her last name, and I heard it pronounced Lapena and Lapena. So I don't know which one it actually is, and there were like all, I was watching like interviews with her and she didn't correct anybody, so I mean, who knows what it, how to actually pronounce her name. But anyway, so this is like a, I think this is like a, an isolated murder mystery type book, and there, it's winter in the Catskills, and we're at an inn. Oh, there's like a blizzard cutting off electricity in contact with the outside world, and then guests at this inn start dying, so there's clearly lots of murder. I'm, really excited about this. Uh, I wanted to read it in, in winter because it just felt very atmospheric. And it's not quite winter yet, but I'm going to say it's close enough. The prompt five is The Outsider. Read a horror book outside your comfort zone. So for this, this is like a little ridiculous, but I'm going to choose Come Closer by Sarah Grant. This is one that I heard Rachel from The Shades of Orange talk about. I think it's about this woman who kind of has disturbing thoughts about like murdering people or like harming the people that she loves and then she also hears like tapping sounds inside the walls of the house that she lives in 
um, and thinks that there's like a woman following her. So I think this is about a demon possession, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, so this, now the whole reason why it's outside my comfort zone is a little ridiculous, but you know, bear with me. So this is like a really short book. And it's like, I think it's like 190 pages. Um, so now I usually don't pick up short books like that because like for me, I just read things so quickly that generally like if the book is not 300 pages, I won't buy it. Um, just because like, it seems like a silly purchase, I guess, when I can get through it so quickly. Um, so this one was actually available through Prime Reading and I picked it up for free. So I was like, mm, this seems like a, a good one to read. That's a ridiculous reason and I am fully aware of that, but I'm gonna count it. Top six is it. Read a book that includes one of your biggest fears. So for this, so for this one, I think I'm gonna choose uh, The Devil in the Deep which uh, is a, an anthology edited by Alan, Ellen Datlow. I'm so sad, I just got this today and like, this, this, this happened and I'm just like very depressed about that. Uh, but anyway, so this is like horror stories about the sea. So I love the ocean, but it's also terrifying. Like we don't know a whole lot about what is in the ocean. There's some like it's really rich material, I guess, that these, these authors can use. Prop seven is The Shining, read a book about a haunted place. For this, I'm going to read Violet, which I've already talked about. Prompt eight, The Long Walk, read a book over 400 pages. So for this one, I'm going to choose The Devil Aspect by Craig Russell. So this one is like set in 1935, and this is like our main character is a psychiatrist and um, gets a job at an asylum for the crim criminally insane. At this asylum, there's like six serial killers. Our main character is trying to use a medical technique to prove that they all have something in common, which is this devil aspect. Uh, but then in Prague, there's some sort of phantom serial killer who I think is kind of like copying murders from, the, from Jack the Ripper. For prompt nine, which is Dr. Sleep, uh, the challenge is to read a whole book while in bed. For this, I'm going to choose, I'm going to double up and choose Come Closer because it's short and I don't necessarily know if I want to read in bed for all that long. So, you know, that's, that's only like a couple of hours obligation. So I think, I think I'm going to choose that one. And then for the last prompt, uh, Different Seasons, read a couple of short horror stories. So for this one, obviously I'm going to read the stories in The Devil and the Deep because it is an anthology of short stories. So I think this is like my tentative plan. There's seven books. Um, I think I'm, I'm really excited to read all of these. I think they're going to be awesome. Let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts about these books. Have you read any of them? Do you think they sound interesting? I hope you're having an excellent day and are reading something awesome. Feel free to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, as that would certainly help me out. But with that, I think I'm going to wrap it up here and see you in the next one.